Cavs and Celtics on overnight. What do y'all expect? Well, we don't know if LeBron's going to play, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to play. They just made a trade, too, didn't they? They just traded Richard Jefferson to the Hawks. Yeah. I didn't and, see that. What was the trade? Yo, shout out RJ, man. We uh, shout out RJ. <laughs> Retire. Go home. Just, yeah, dude, just podcast, retire. Go podcast, home. Yeah, go home. podcast pioneer, Richard Jefferson. <laughs> yeah, podcast pioneer, Richard Jefferson. Just go home, dog. Retire, big dog. Is the game even... in Boston or is the game in Cleveland? That's a mm. great question. I think it's. I think Cleveland. Actually, I don't know. I, I actually have no idea. Let me look. I mean, regardless if like LeBron yeah, doesn't LeBron play, doesn't play they're, they're gonna get like washed. <laughs> the game is in. They don't even have Kyrie now to like. It's in Cleveland. Yeah, is it? Oh, Kyrie's yeah. Kyrie's I mean, they got D Rose. He's gonna come out firing. <laughs> they got D Rose, D Wade, the new hairdo, D Rose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, got dreads. D Rose is dread. First, well, yeah. Um, what do you guys think about the Cavs? Like how they look so far? I mean, it's a lot of their season is gonna depend on when Isaiah comes back. He's not. Is he coming back in January? I thought, thought it was March. March? Oof. Fuck, really? Damn. Damn. That's like that's not enough time to get ready for the yeah, playoffs. No. If it's March, no. Basically, way. A I, lost year. I think they're going to be able to coast the regular season because the East is so terrible this year, and you need to rest Wade, LeBron, Rose, <laughs> even Kevin Love because he has an, an injury yeah, history. Yeah. But I think they could make, they could make a serious run to the playoffs again because they'll just like everyone's going to turn around just at the end of the season. I don't know. I'm not even gonna comment yeah. on the regular season. Like, I don't. It does not matter. Like, it doesn't matter the, for this game's sake. Like, for argument's sake, Boston's probably gonna win because LeBron's not gonna play and Kyrie's got something to prove. But the regular season doesn't matter in the Eastern Conference. Not, not one bit. Yeah. I think when it comes down to it, Boston will be the best team in the East. They will be. Honestly, they will. Cleveland be. won't be the top seed. They're they don't have any reason people. to. Right? They have no reason to. They're gonna be resting people on and off throughout the entire year. Somebody's gonna get banged up. D Rose gonna fucking go down. Dwayne Wade's gonna fucking go <laughs> down. Gonna fucking like go down. it's gonna happen. You know it's gonna happen. They're gonna miss a dozen fucking games. Yeah. So it's gonna happen. They're already, and they're gonna they're gonna yeah. coast to be like the three two seed. And you know what we should do for the next they're, podcast we come on? We last year, no and I ranked every league pass team we wanted in order and compared yeah, yeah, them yeah, how much we wanted, how much we wanted to watch them. And we that just like it was one. just West was just stacked at the top. Oh, absolutely, yeah. it's gonna be even more so this year. Like what? I feel like what, what teams like, am I really excited to watch? Boston, this, Boston. Well, Boston, Boston, Cleveland. Because I'm a Cleveland fan. Um, the Bucks have the best in-game entertainment for yeah, everyone Bucks, on the podcast. Yeah, league pass, league pass. If you have league pass, you need to watch the Bucks because they have the best in-game. Their entertainment. halftime shows are always funny. The best. It's, like, it's really good. Sounds stuff. weird. They're the best. <laughs> yeah. You gotta watch the Bucks. Um, I'm excited to watch the Sixers. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course the I Lakers. Like I saw there, there are a lot of there, there are. Can't watch the Lakers on League Pass now when they're yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, but there are actually Not, very when they're few. On the road too. Yeah. There on are the road actually too. Yeah. very few teams this year that up. I legit don't give a fuck about watching. Yeah, like Absolutely. every team I kind of want to tune in and see what's going on with them. Besides, like my like, I, like I don't really care about watching Miami, honestly. Yeah, definitely at the uh, beginning of the year, you like you want to see what each squad is doing, yeah. what they're running, but like there hits a point in. Where some of these squads, I'm just like, no. why are we? Why are how we far did Utah game? fall down your rankings now? They don't have payword. I, I still do. like Utah. I like Utah because no. I love defense. Are they going to be That's, top? Like they're going to be top two on? or three defensively. Pass, yo. defensively. Oh. Yo, I said I think Rubio is going to have his best year of his career. This year. I got him on my fantasy this team. Season. I like him a this lot. Season. I think he's going to. He's about, being aggressive in the preseason. Have you he seen looks his good. shots? Yeah, he looks good. I think he's going to average about 16 a game. Yeah. The thing about Rubio was never that he couldn't play. Just like Minnesota was, he tore his ACL with his rookie year or second year. Yeah, yeah. And Minnesota had been trying to trade him forever. Then you bring Wiggins in, and he has to handle the ball. Like he's yeah. in, a, he's in a situation in um, Utah where it's pretty much he. You have the ball now. Nobody yeah. gonna have the ball more than you. My one, my one issue with it is that every time Rubio touches the ball in the backcourt, he wants to push and run, and everyone else on Utah can't run. No one else on his team is gonna run with him. That's like that's what I'm scared about. In the half court, I think he's gonna do pretty good. He like sets up his team well. He like distributes. He was aggressive, looking for a shot at least in the preseason. However much that matters, but like, yeah, that's the problem is that he's gonna want to run all day long, and that's the slowest team in the NBA yeah. right now. Utah Makes Jazz. Sense. <laughs> Makes sense. But they're gonna be good defensively. I like their yeah, defense yeah, a lot. Yeah. Rubio's a good defender. You think Rubio's gonna be healthy that. though the whole year. I mean, Rubio has been really that banged up though. I don't think he's been hurt. Am I just wrong? They already have injury issues. Not like not I feel just like Rudy. that dude's been hurt way too much. 
Um, X them for the year. X them for the year. I mean, no, not really. No, he just located his shoulder on a fall. Wait, X them hurt again for the year. X them's out for the year. That's one dude I feel bad for. Yeah, man, that sucks. We're talking about. We were on the podcast last year talking about what does he do. That was like a whole. Yo, yeah, we did talk about that. Actually, we're actually just still exploring. Oh wait, he's here still. Actually, still, yeah, to avoid the season-ending surgery, so they're exploring some options. Yeah, that sucks because. The last game he played um, uh, against the Warriors when, when they got swept, he looked really good. Excellent. Like I was like, "Oh shit, I know what you do. Like you can penetrate and play." Well, he wasn't. I mean, he was he was trying on defense. He was bad, but he was trying. It but was he's like, long. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's long, yeah, so it gave sure. me encouragement. Like, okay, you could learn to be at least a somewhat decent defender. And he was penetrating and being um, aggressive. But no, to answer your question with Rubio, it's been forty-one, um, fifty-seven. 82, then he tore okay. his ACL, then 76, 75. Oh, so last two years, he's been pretty healthy. Yeah, still trying to yeah. 